Hey folks, guess where we are? We are at Mecca. <laughs> <laughs> We're at the Stumac headquarters here, and we've got Jim who works with the company. He's gonna give us a tour of the whole building and uh, hopefully give you guys a little bit of an insight to the operations here. Yeah. I think you're gonna be surprised at, uh, at the operation. I know when Matt first and I showed up, it was like, holy cow, this is a lot bigger than we expected. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, uh, let's start down here on the first floor where we do a lot of manufacturing. Okay. We're actually going on the wood shop side over oh, here. Oh, awesome. The giant uh, outdoor dust collector. So oh, yeah. <laughs> After you, it's going to be a little noisy, but yeah. you'll be all right. So this is the wood shop area where we make all the wood parts for our acoustic guitar kits. Okay, uh, so all, brother all that's manufactured in-house. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, right here in Ohio. Uh, we source the wood. We got our own sawmill set up now. Okay. Um, so we're making a lot of that ourselves. Eight. Some CNC's going. You see like a triple O guitar mold over there. Okay. Yeah. You mind if we walk over there and no. look at it? Well, yeah. No. <laughs> mandolin kid? What's that? Mandolin? Uh, yeah, it looks like that, yeah. F-style top, copper back. Yeah. Oh, and it's got the vacuum hold downs on it. Right, right, yeah. yeah. This is all stuff that we've kind of upgraded since we've consolidated everything to this building. Okay. Um, the wood shop used to be on off-site and all just used chicken coop actually for a long time. We heard time. about that, yeah. Yeah, so when we uh, basically took over the whole building, we just consolidated everything here. We've got the wood shop here. We've got Waverly over on the other side of the first floor, okay. which I'll show you here in a second. Um, those actually used to be assembled in Bozeman, Montana. Okay. So we brought it all in-house so we could oh, have wow. better control over everything. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Uh, I love it. Like this way. Let's go the whole face move. We run CNC at our shop, so it's interesting seeing it used different ways. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Giant white belt sander. Pick the sander, yeah. Yeah. They were showing us yesterday some of these uh, these systems that are designed for cutting fret slots. Is this what these oh, are Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, the gang are. saws for, the, uh, for slotting the fretboards. Check out this, Matt. It's got like all of the uh, different. It's a one, one pass, right? One pass. Uh, yeah, one or two, I think. That's and that's what's underneath all of these, huh? The different. Mm -hmm. That's so cool. <laughs> Everybody else is just like, <laughs> yeah, just killer, super killer. Yeah, we've had uh, you know we've been going since 1968, so we've had a lot of time to really kind of. Figure out get what, things down and um, you know looking out having the guys in R&D that we have that are super knowledgeable and yeah um, always look for more efficiencies that they can work into the production for process sure. yeah and then on top of that you know we've had we had Dan Erlewine involved in Stumac for yeah, for forever. decades <laughs> and when it comes to finding or finding or making a tool that'll make work easier yeah he's the guy so yeah. so this much quieter side of the first floor is where we assemble all the Waverly tuners okay. Super cool. They're yeah. all they're all assembled in here. Yeah, in yeah. This building. Yeah, all the Waverly's, Sloan's, Sloan, Sloan classical tuners. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it's funny because I was telling uh, Matt and other people that I, I think most people don't realize that Stumac and Waverly. This is it. Oh yeah. <laughs> they're all yep. made right here. Uh, yeah. This is where, as they say, on cribs, the magic happens. This is <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So it's a machine shop, more specifically for metal working on this side. Right, yeah. And then we have people like this over here assembling. Yep, we got uh, assembly. assembly. We actually do the relicing here in-house as well. Okay. Um, so any of the relic Waverly's, yeah. we age those here. That's killer. Um, we've got some of our new uh, metal CNC's over here for uh, cutting down the base plates. Yes, we got a little sneak peek at these the other day and this is so cool. We actually came in and got some video of them. Oh, nice, yeah. And this is just so cool. Yeah. All these, uh, for the three on plate tuning machines, actually that I use on all my acoustics, um, starting out as as rough blanks, mm -hmm. and then turning into that, just super cool. Ah, this scratches all my itches. I love this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so cool. 
Yeah, and I, all the old. I guess this over here they were saying is a little bit kind of when you guys were doing them from casting. Right. Yeah. And yeah. Some of the, older the, machines. the CNC base plates for uh, especially the Sloans and the Waverleys are kind of a new thing for us. Um, so we're still getting that kind of in the works and, and getting that going. But for a long time, we used cast base plates for those, uh, especially for the classical tuners. Yeah, um, uh, the solid is so much better. Yeah, yeah. but a lot more work, obviously. As right, you guys right, know. right. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I used to when I was in the Air Force. I was a sheet metal guy. We'd work right next to the machine shop, so this is like. This is like home for you. Oh yeah, the first time I walked down here, I was like, oh, it smells like the old, the old workshop with the machine oil and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah. So cool. And then all packing and everything. Exactly, yep. Uh, sub parts, um, you know. Yeah. Components for making the tuners. So cool. Just get a bunch of brass, a bunch of knobs, yeah. and uh, a little elbow grease. And, and then it's easy, yeah, it's easy. That's, <laughs> all that's left to do is everything. <laughs> yeah, all that's left to do is everything, yeah. that's right. So cool. Yeah. And we've got our R&D office, manufacturing office. Okay. Uh, yeah, so the folks that are in charge of the stuff down here can, you know, be closer at hand and... For sure. Yeah. Coming up with new ideas and stuff and... All the time. Yeah. 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 That's killer. And that's just the first floor. Yep. That's just the first floor. But wait, there's more. The, but wait. Now we'll head up to the second floor, which is our main warehouse floor. Let me grab this for you. Come on, there we go. Retinal scanning. <laughs> this whole thing. You gotta submit blood to get into the elevator. Well, that's for the fourth floor. Yeah, okay. A little thumb prick. Yeah. <laughs> but it tests your glucose at the same time. It's so. perfect. And that's great. It's good and bad. It's good to make sure your sugar's in check. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what do you know about uh, the age of the building and everything? Ooh, um, the building, I. Gonna have to get real broad here because I don't know this, the uh, sure. exact specifics, but uh, right around the turn of the century, it used to be a textile stop for, uh, I believe, railroads. Okay. Um, some railroads walked through here, and then it was owned by, um, I think the name of the family was McBee. They did business uh, supplies and um, that kind of stuff back in the day. Um, I'm not entirely sure when we moved in here. Okay. Uh, but like I said, we started off in Athens in 68, uh, Bill McDonald and Creston Stewart. Um, the whole thing started off, they were just trying to make a banjo kit that they could sell for less than 100 bucks during the bluegrass craze of the late 60s, early okay. 70s, and it's turned into all it's this. It's turned into all this. Yeah. Just killer. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, the building, uh, you can't tell because they've done such a good job in here, but it's just an old industrial like brick building mm -hmm. uh, I, we were told this elevator here actually is like the second oldest operating elevator in the state of ohio i would believe that uh, and it's just it's so cool man the floors are like the original flooring and yep. the joists in the ceiling are like the original joists it's just and i thought it was really cool that when they remodeled everything here uh probably about two years ago they went to a lot of work to you know keep as much of the original intact and actually showing as possible which kind of yes. gives it the uh an industrial feel but um it's like I was telling Matt, I was like, I don't know what to expect, but it's what I expected. Like, it's just got that, like... That's awesome. Guitars are made here. Oh, you yeah. know, guitar parts yeah. are made here, for sure. But actually, I don't even know if I've really even been on this floor yet. So, oh, okay. So this is super cool. This is uh, the second floor. Yeah, this is our warehouse, our, our main warehouse floor, um, where all the picking and packing gets done, all the packaging for the, the stuff that we assemble here. Um, boxing up our amp kits. Okay. You guys are fan of those guys so through those doors is where like i said we do all the packaging um, okay uh, a lot of stuff we'll buy in bulk and then we'll package you know bridge pins tuners sell them as a set of six okay uh, so you so actually have to like turn in them into the kits exactly yeah okay. yeah um you know here we've got a lot of our third party stuff and uh our wilkinson guitar kits yeah uh, a lot of our uh Aris guitar shipping system um, which is like I was a, wondering what those were. Yeah, it's like a, it's it's basically a um, purpose-designed inflatable pillow that wraps around your guitar. Okay. Um, and we might we, have to get some of those when we start shipping our electrics. Yeah, <laughs> that, and they they do work. Like when when they first brought that product to Stumac, we we boxed up a guitar and chucked it out of the third floor window. And, I heard about this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it survived. Then, of course, it was a telly, so it survived sure. anything. But, <laughs> uh, but no, then, those, those systems are great, yeah. And then you've got like screws, nuts and bolts, all that down yep. here. I think all it'd be super cool if we could walk down one of these. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, this so when we get an so order cool. or warehouse workers come through and they pick off the shelves. Um, yeah, I mean, like old gator clamps. Yeah. Like literally, this is the Stumac catalog in, oh, yeah. in uh, wall form. <laughs> <laughs> and so, the numbering system here just by part numbers and does somebody get like a printout and then they come in here and fulfill the order like on the spot? Yeah, so they'll get a, um, a printout with the part number and then, oh, excuse me. And then you see here, you got uh, different picking locations. So each aisle's got a letter and then each shelf has a number. Uh, so it tells them pretty much exactly where to go to find what they need. Okay. Yeah. So they just come in here and fulfill it and then do the next one. You got it. That's crazy. Yeah. And if we keep going this way, take you over the shipping side of things. Okay. All the bridges. Man. So this is stuff that's like prepped up and ready to ship. And then you also have more long-term storage as well. Right, right yeah. And we'll take you up to the third floor uh, where the video studio is. That's where we have overstock. All the tops, top woods. Yep. Super glues. So everything's, so anything you see here with a U is um, unsanded. Anything without it is, you know, thickness sanded to yep. where we want it to be. The T is torified, um, which has been a big, uh, big seller for us. Yeah, and somebody's obviously uh, prepping these, matching them up, grading right. them, exactly, and then putting yeah. them in the bags, and then they're ready to go. Right, right. And this is just our what we call our catalog wood, which, you know, you go on the website and you you pick the number, and then, you know, we find the the best one for you. Yeah. We ship it to you as opposed to our wood stacks, Woodstacks. where you can actually. Pick shop piece. by piece and see photos and everything. Yeah, that's what yeah like a lot of times if I'm in just like I need some wood, right. I'll just buy this. And but yeah, I have bought the wood stacks before. We were like, I want that piece, which is nice because I can tell my clients, hey, here's the five pieces to pick from, mm -hmm. and then they can choose what they like. Which oh, is that's nice. cool. Yeah, 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 super cool. And then over here, we've got the shipping side of things, so everything gets packed up and sent out. Oh man, through this side. So yeah, it's really a. You know, self-sustaining all, all in yeah. one. And then the shipping trucks pull up here. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. And do you guys kind of like have like certain times of the day that are just like real busy in here and other times that are just kind of a little bit slower like it is right now? Yeah. Yeah. So right now it's, I think, everybody's first break of the day yeah. uh, in the warehouse. Um, but uh, earlier in the day, uh, you know, throughout the morning, we'll get deliveries. Um, keeps, you know, receiving super busy. You can see the pallets of stuff that we've got delivered here that yeah. will eventually get on the shelves. And then right around four o'clock, um, it starts to get hopping again with outgoing. Okay. And that's when, uh, you know, the, the carriers will pick everything up and, and send them out. Yeah. That's and we, so we ship all over the world. Um, that's you know, one thing that's crazy US, is I know that, countries. When people, you know, we talk to people in their comment sections, like how, how like, promise like a three-day shipping and then it shows up the next day it blows my mind mm -hmm. <laughs> i know you guys aren't actually the ones shipping <laughs> it but i'm still always amazed whatever deal you guys have going on with the shipping company yeah. they yeah, always they, kill it they do know? well by us yeah for yeah, sure yeah they really really do yeah super cool so we've got you know this is a, like i said our receiving area over here yep You guys don't have the Amazon robots yet. Not, Not yet. yet. Not <laughs> yet. We still like our uh, our folks to have a pulse at this point. Exactly. What was it you were watching? Oh, we uh, was it the Martin's uh, factory? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, where they're starting to get robots like there, where they can like put a stack of wood on the robot and it'll take it to the next area. Yeah, it's not That's quite the Amazon level. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then they have those dogs that know robots. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Dynamics, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. It, yeah. <coughs> and here we're gonna make our way up to the third floor. And you'll see like we have part of it where we're talking about all those exposed bricks and everything. Like there's a real sense of what this building has been right, you know, yeah. as you're through the building. Like all the glass on the windows is all um, like the original right. kind of wavy glass, which is yeah, just super cool. What's up, Brock? Hey, man, how are you? Good. This is Brock, our VP of marketing. <laughs> we know that guy. <laughs> and so this is our in-house overstock location, which is up here on the third floor of uh, the 21 North Shaker Street building. We do have an auxiliary warehouse just kind of on the other side of town on East okay. State Street. Um, big stuff that we have a lot of that we can't necessarily keep up here 
uh, you know, like hundreds of guitar kits, that kind of stuff. We just kind of keep out there and bring in as we need to the box yeah. truck, yeah. Okay. So this is actually the same floor that Matt and I have been on all week too, um, doing our video work. Oh right? yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, but this is the part obviously where we're not doing the shooting. Right. So this is like long-term storage. Right, yep. Yep, and as things kind of dwindle downstairs, it'll get rotated and moved downstairs. Okay. And we'll, if we have stuff out on East State, we'll bring it out here and yeah. repeat the process. Constantly rotating, huh? First exactly. First thing, first out kind of a thing. Okay, cool. We came in from the other door and I was like, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> and so this is our uh, our uh, video area, our let's, studios let's in there. in there, because we haven't really shown oh, our yeah. people. Show some behind the scenes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's our guru, Dan Erlewine. Yeah. This is, uh, I guess, it's Tom Erlewine's yes. uh, office, but he's been doing work from home essentially since COVID. But right. has doubled as Matt and I's green room. Excellent. For, Excellent. Uh, for our time here. Don't <laughs> Tom. <laughs> Just put everything back where you found it. It'll yeah. Be fine. <laughs> And then this has been the, uh, now I'm suddenly switching over to the tour guy. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and this has been where Matt and I have been doing our video shoot for the whole week, for the most part, uh, with Susan and everything, but yeah. Did you guys sign the wall yet? We haven't signed it. We, on your way we, out? We'll do it on our way out, nice. I think. <laughs> uh, but yeah, here's the, here's the video studio, which will look familiar to so many people, I think, who have been watching like a lot of the Dan videos over the years. Oh, right? yeah things like that so yeah we've done some uh, some really cool series out of this uh, studio um, you know we did one on I, I believe wiring up uh, guitar pedals out of yeah. here and it was kind of a live Q&A kind of thing you could watch while our tech Tommy went through the process and yeah then, yeah we've been able to utilize this place really well yeah there's Susan I right, Susan. To tell you guys something. what oh, you have to sign our wall. oh we are signing the wall do you want us to do it now? Yeah. You hold the camera while we do it. Cool. <laughs> Susan is, um, and Matt's not mic'd up, so he won't be able to hear too much of him, but MVP. Susan has been the, v the, 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 the MVP of the whole week. She's the best. <laughs> Susan's the best. We're going to have her move to Florida, or we're going to move here. We haven't figured it out. We're working on it. You guys that. are going to have to come here. Yeah. <laughs> She's not allowed to Exactly. Yeah. We like her. Should we, uh, my signature is horrible, so I'm actually going to oh. write my name. Whatever yeah. you want to do there. Oh. That's all right. Is that wrong? Is that wrong? <laughs> yes, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <it's laughs> <Eileen>, take <laughs> me away. Uh, it smells delicious. <laughs> and then we'll sign it. <laughs> should, we should put the it's date. Maybe wear something someday. Oh, right. Listen, Matt's a, he's left handed. I keep saying this, but he's terrible at writing. He's not, he's not good at it. You know, yeah, usually I would up. say something like, no, that's okay. The D. Oh, we got with the date. Or oh, yeah. What are we? Um, it's what, what, what is eight, eight, eight October. Ten eight. Ten eight. Yeah, we're gonna have guests. We should really get the smelly markers. I want to sign my name in cherry. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. It's cool. Official. We are nice. official. We're on the wall. Yeah. yeah. Boom. That's pretty cool. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. I'll take this back. It's convenient. She knows how to operate a camera too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Occupational answer. laughs> Good. Awesome. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> and this is the back of the walls where we just were in the studio. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Susan spends most of her time yelling at people rolling loud carts around on the third floor. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go into that studio, it looks more and more like a real We like, keep workshop. hearing that from people. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really cool to kind of watch the evolution yeah. of it. All the... Uh, Electric guitar. Why do you know, are these shipped from Israel? I noticed that they have stampings on them for Israel for a lot of them. Uh, do you know? I don't know. These are, these are Woodstacks body blanks. Okay. So these are the ones that'll um, show up on the website. You'll, you'll actually be able to go through and pick which one you want based on grain pattern and whatnot. Yeah. Um, Let's go actually have them try to poplar. These are good looking. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the sawmill that we just recently opened up within the last uh, year or two has been a, um, a huge help to us as far as being able to uh, source and create some of the stuff a little bit more economically and then we can pass the savings on to the customer. Yeah, that's super cool. Long term, yeah. We're hoping we might have a little bit of time that we could do that, but we'll have to, to see if we've got time to go check it out. Yeah. We've got a plane to catch. Where are you guys based out of? We're in the Panhandle of Florida. Oh, okay. Near like the Destin, Panama City oh, area. Oh, cool. Far awesome. away. It's my first time in Ohio. Really? Yeah. First time. I actually love it. It's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a lot of 
grief from just being flyover country, but uh, I've been here my whole life. I it's cool. This area in out. particular is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. I saw on the map how close we were to West Virginia. I was like, oh, this should be beautiful. Especially, I mean, it's October too. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. And now this is the fourth floor where all the offices are. Cool. So, got our little kitchenette over there, our little chill room or yeah. space over here. We got drums set up for our CEO in case he ever wants to jam. <laughs> That's what I heard, yeah. yeah. Super cool. This is like so, uh, uh, I don't know, like inviting up here. It's so non-formal. And when I started working here, we only had two floors of the building, the second floor and the third floor. Okay. The like offices were on the second floor, and <laughs> as was the warehouse, and Overstock was on three, and this place was just cobwebs and just leftover stuff from really? the other tenants of the building that had been here through the years. So to see it come to this has been kind of amazing. This is incredible. Yeah. It's so like, I don't know, what is the, that's super cool. <laughs> uh, it's so, uh, I don't know, like the open concept is really nice, yeah. you know, and inviting. Yeah, it's so much nicer than working like a cubicle or something like that. Cube farms. Yeah. And so I've been told that this is Woodstacks. This is Woodstacks, yep. And okay. then kind of through Woodstacks, that's our uh, little photo studio over there, there's Sally. Okay, yeah, and I saw her over here, she's doing more cataloging and things like that. Yeah, this is Christina, she's our Woodstacks manager. This is How Gabe. Are you gay? Also one of our Woodstacks guys. Just doing a little guys. tour. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry to jump in on you guys. <laughs> oh, you do all the, the getting the photos ready and yeah. everything. Oh, super cool, getting it all cataloged. Lightroom is life. All hail the So cool. And then you're just stacking them up, getting, she puts the stack in wood stacks. Yep. <laughs> no, don't encourage him. <laughs> Seriously, don't, don't feed the animals. Yeah, don't, don't feed the losers. <laughs> That's so cool. So what she's doing is actually, yeah. she's taking the photo that'll end up on the website for that particular yeah. set. Yeah. Yep. Super neat, super yeah. neat, yeah. And we've got our uh, our customer service over here, which has always been um, a big kind of selling point for Stu Mac. Um, just, you know, always here to answer questions. Okay, um, yep. If you ever have any problems with, you know, product, everything that we sell has got a lifetime guarantee. So yep. we've had people return tools after 20 years. And, I've know, been one of them who's so. not, who's just like, they've been amazed where I, where I have something where I got the wrong item. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it's like, we'll just keep that. We're going to send you the thing you actually wanted. Oh, like, yeah. Just stuff like yeah. that. So are a lot of people working from home right now? Yes. Yeah. We're, uh, because it's a university town and, you know, we still got a lot of folks that kind of come in seasonally um, when the Delta thing hit. Uh, it, it, just to play it safe, you know, sure. to err on the side of caution. We, yeah. we had already been working at home and things have been going relatively well, so we just decided yeah. to extend that until we Send saw it. what was going on with sure. COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we've definitely got the space for it, but it's definitely communal. So yes. Yeah. So worthy. over here, we've got accounting uh, over where Matt's going. That's the IT area over there. Okay. And, and then we got marketing here. All right. And then uh, over in this area is purchasing. That's where myself and my manager, Todd, work. Okay, cool. And then all the exec offices are kind of around the sides here. So we've got VP of operations, VP of HR, um, Brock's office, VP of marketing, uh, CFO, CEO, and then our product development guys that are both okay. out today. Cool. Yeah, there's the the uh, the founders there. Huh? Yeah. Yep. That's, that's Bill yeah. Bill and Preston. And then we've got some uh, yeah. just conference rooms, and we've got a little staging area set up where we can. Kind of nice to be able to actually see what we, yeah. you know, what we work exactly. towards. Exactly. A beautiful conference rooms with oh, all the yeah. natural light and everything. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and Brock was showing us some of this yesterday. Like these are all like different guitar kits that you guys mm -hmm. have sold over the years, even right? Yep. We've sent them out. And, you know, had some of them professionally finished, and it's just nice to see. You know, you get a, a you get a kit, and you're not really sure what it can become, but you put it in the hands of someone you know, who knows what they're doing. Yeah. And you get a really nice instrument out of it. So. Those were the pedals kits you guys sell yeah. too, even? Absolutely. I haven't actually gotten into doing pedal building. Eventually we'll, we'll start doing that. Oh, maybe, fun. maybe if Matt can figure out how to build the, the amp. Still got any fingerprints left after the exactly, amp. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. 
That's just so cool. And then yeah. uh, some some common tooling and things like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is a area that our um, one of our senior techs, Eric Coleman, set up just to kind of yeah showcase everything that we've got going on. It's so cool. But nobody's shop actually looks this clean. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Yeah, me, uh, we've been Googling over over this all week. Just the, oh, this. Oh, that is amazing. Yeah. We need this. We need this. Super yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, that's really it, man. That's, cool. That's, I think it's that's a, a good way of getting people a little bit. I mean, I don't know how well it'll pick up on camera, but just how big the whole building is. You know, four stories. Each story is like two stories. Right. Uh, so it's just a huge building. Yeah. But just this open concept. Everybody's been all week for Matt and I have just been super friendly. Everybody seems to know everybody, and the culture is just really, really cool. You know, even like the CFO and the VP just been hanging out with us. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just been... It's just been super cool, so I appreciate you taking us out, man. Oh yeah, yeah. No problem, man. This has been Good super. Hopefully, you. we didn't bug too many people. No, <laughs> no, and that's what we're here for. You get it, yeah. get the word out, and yeah. Uh, make sure everybody has what they need to yeah. keep their instruments rolling. Super cool. Mm -hmm.